year because of one addition to the island. In mid-September, Australia resumed sending asylum seekers to this detention centre. About 400 men live in makeshift tents, but in the coming months, up to 1,500 people could be housed here. Just beyond the centre is a phosphate mine, a mineral that was Nauru's key source of income and that made it one of the richest countries in the world in the 70s. But the primary deposits dried up, the revenue squandered. Isolated and with limited natural and human resources, Nauru was left with one of the highest unemployment rates in the world. Some reports suggesting as many as 90% of people were jobless. But since the detention centre opened, more than 100 locals have found work. Others, such as Sean Oppenheimer, are indirectly benefiting. Sean runs the only supermarket on the island. He says when the first detention centre opened in 2001, it helped revive Nauru's desperately fledgling economy. Things were very tough. Um, business was very slow. And, uh, you know, I, I believe the, it was one of the best things the government of the day then um, brought to Nauru. It was a good thing. Already he's noticed more money being pumped into small businesses and more and more locals are cashing in. I'm heading over to a lady's house, her name's Veronica. She runs a fairly successful homestay program as in she caters for foreign visitors to Nauru. They stay at her house when the hotels are, are packed and apparently in the last two months they have been packed. There are only two hotels in Nauru, which is why this home is being converted into a homestay. The rooms that we give out for homestays? It's modest accommodation. There's no power. <laughs> There's no power. There's no power, you can't see it. That's just, that's just what happens here. Yeah. Deal with it. Despite that, business is said to be booming because there are few options. It's been busy with all the um, media people, the consultants from environment, they didn't know where to stay so I had to make arrangements with even other families. Residents not only rent out homes but vehicles and services too. There's certainly a lot more economic activity because of the increased population on the, on the island with the non naroon workers that are here as well as uh, visitors coming because of the centre. Um, and there's a, a, just a general increase in throughput of, of goods and, and services. How long the centre will be here is not yet known. Neither is its overall cost. But what many Nauruans do know is so long as it is here, they'll make the most of it. In Nauru.